I was back in Sweden and on a train heading to the international airport in the capital of Sweden, Stockholm. At the airport I was about to meet somebody that I had traveled with in the past all over the world. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. I'm here actually underneath the Stockholm Arlanda airport. It's an international airport in Sweden and the main airport in Sweden. And uh, I'm about to meet Maria here actually. She's coming from Texas. And she will be uh, with me here in Sweden for some time. And uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting actually that you can take the train straight into the airport. So now I'm like underneath the airport. The airport is above me. It's like a big tunnel here in Sweden. It's 12.35 now. Her flight landed at 12.25 and she told me that she um, is just waiting for a bag. So now I'm inside the airport here and I have to go to the arrivals where all the flights arrive. I think uh, it's this way. Actually, it's been a while since I was here in the airport. Maria has arrived from Texas and uh, we're going to a hotel here in Stockholm. Radisson. Radisson Blue. I think this is where the Radisson Blue is. Radisson Blue Royal Viking. Here is Royal Viking. Where is 9.39? Here is 9.39. We have arrived to the hotel at Radisson and also a view over Stockholm. We have the city hall right there. Hello! Oh, yeah. Here is the toilet and the shower. Oh. World Trade Center is right outside here. I'm also very tired. I've been tired for several months. Oh, we have to get back. Back to our old self somehow. I was thinking I would show Maria the royal castle where the king lives and um, the parliament and also the old town. Maria also gave me a t-shirt from Texas. And I was gonna say, if you come to Stockholm, this is the most central hotel you can have. The train station is right there. Let's see if we can make a coffee, maybe here. I'm so happy still that you can drink the tap water here. Ah, like in Mexico, I had to go and buy 20 liter water bottles. We had a salad by the water and then we did nothing. We were just in here. But um, I don't know what we're gonna do actually. We're gonna try the shower now. The shower here looks pretty good actually. It's raining. The next morning. I haven't been able to sleep for the past, I don't know, several weeks, months since I was in Mexico. Really bad sleep. But um, uh, we're here at the breakfast inside a hotel. Yeah, we have a bunch of bacon, bacon and uh, tomatoes, sausages, and mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. what else do you have here? What? This looks like another piece of your bacon. Mm -hmm. I forgot to get bacon. We were on the way out, but it started raining like crazy, and that's how it's been here. One minute it's raining, and then the next minute it's sunshine. Look at this shit. We are too late. I know, but even if we had left like 45 minutes or an hour ago, we would have still been right We would have still have seen the castle, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> we do now. <laughs> we wait for the rain to pass. Okay. And then we walk. Yeah. Or you can get your poncho and I get my rain jacket. We are waiting for the rain to pass, and it actually did pass, but then we got tired. And uh, I had to make a cup of coffee. <laughs> this is like your second time drinking coffee in a while, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
I stopped drinking coffee, I stopped with everything. I got afraid of everything after my sickness. I got afraid of even drinking coffee. I was paranoid for a while, but... Now we have to face our fears. <laughs> we were finally about to head out for some sightseeing in this huge city with over a million people and more than 10% of the total population in Sweden. We started walking a bit and we made it here to one of the most famous streets, Drottninggatan. It's the main street where you have all the people passing by and also a lot of shops and stores on each side. And over here we have the parliament where all the politicians come to cast votes and make decisions that affect Sweden. Here it is, the parliament. This is where all the voting takes place. You have nine different parties in Sweden and they all sit in here. There are 349 seats and then uh, we have also the royal castle right here. The king lives here sometimes. But the king is just an icon of Sweden. He doesn't do anything. We have a prime minister in Sweden and uh, yeah, the king, he doesn't do anything. Maria came prepared with her poncho. She is now a perfect tourist. I am. <laughs> and uh, yeah. we're gonna see if we can see the Swedish king here in the castle. Yes. He the lives one, in here sometimes. I was gonna say the one thing that you told me to bring was a rain jacket, which yeah. is good advice. Oh, and you brought a proper poncho. I, I did. It's called poncho, right? Yeah. And they have a bunch of different guards in front of the palace. We're gonna film it here. Now we are inside the castle here. The king of Sweden, called the sextonde Gustav, called the 16th Gustav. He has been the king of Sweden for a very long time. But I've never seen him in real life, only on TV. But they say that he lives here sometimes. And you see how many hundreds of rooms there are here. Now we're going up to see if we can see some interesting things here. You probably have to pay to go any further. Oh, we're deep down in the castle. To the treasury. There's a treasury also in this castle. The history of Sweden goes back like to uh, before the Vikings even. Between the year 700 and 1100, I think, there were Vikings all over Sweden. We didn't get to see the treasure. Are you disappointed? <laughs> no. <laughs> we didn't see the king either. But now we're coming up to uh, where they have a parade sometimes. How old is the king? The, they are marching. He's quite old. He's like maybe in his 70s, I think. Oh, it's not that old. It's raining about 70 degrees, 20 Celsius. And that's how it is in Sweden during the summer, usually. We are coming into the old town now. Old town of Stockholm, where there are some narrow streets. Very narrow streets. Are you hungry? Uh, not yet. I ate too much for breakfast. Here we have the main part of the whole I ate 
way too much for breakfast. I regret eating so much. Yeah, not me. I wish I would have had more to eat. So I would not get hungry. The old town of Stockholm is probably the most interesting. With all these incredible small and narrow walkways. It's almost like a labyrinth sometimes when you walk around there. I really wish like I traveled. Mm, I think this has Nutella stuffed maybe. And yeah. then this has nuts all over it. Not for me. Yeah, so this area here is really famous for all the shops, ice cream, candy and souvenirs. That is what this area is famous for. As we have seen, Maria has stopped uh, along the way <laughs> to look at all the stuff here. What? Glass flavors? What is that? What is that? Like ice? Ice cream flavors. Oh. Glass is, Glass ice, is ice cream. Glass ice cream, really? Yeah. That's what it is in French, I thought. Oh. If you want. Or we don't have to. We can turn around here. Okay. Whoa. So skinny. It's narrow. The rain has stopped and the pond should came off. Uh-huh. Now we're coming out here to the I can't remember what this area is called. <laughs> I'm a Swedish Viking. Now we're inside the central train station here. It's, uh, I think, the biggest train station in Sweden here in Stockholm. We're just going up the escalator uh, and then to Forex, Forex, so Maria can exchange some US dollars for Swedish crowns. Yes. And so she doesn't get ripped off. Maria is doing her exchange. She is exchanging some US dollars for Swedish crowns. Uber got a wine. I got a Pepsi. Welcome. Sure. How was your wine? It was very good. I spilled the first one though, and then yeah. William was nice enough to Got go. Got another one for free. Yeah. <laughs> now Maria's happy again. Yes. Thanks, Boop. And also my friend from high school that I haven't seen in a few years. We're leaving the rooftop bar now after one Pepsi and one uh, glass of wine for Maria and my two friends also that I met earlier here. My uh, friend from high school. We came back and instead of going to the restaurant, we got Summer huge salads full of meat. It's probably the best I think you can get here <laughs> instead of going to the restaurant. Yeah, we decided to go there instead. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. And it smokes going to say her favorite part about Stockholm. Um, I like how... I like how it looks old you like the old town mm -hmm. that was your favorite yeah and like some of the buildings like they kind of reminded me of like paris like because they're really tall old buildings i like the narrow streets yeah i like that about europe in general how there's a lot of places have really narrow streets and it just looks old yeah um and that one place we walked through like there were so many different desserts and now we have the best part left that's the swimming pool here at the hotel mm -hmm. <laughs> that's where we are heading now <laughs> You're gonna jump on me like wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, my sunglasses are on. Oh yeah. We are here now at the swimming pool and we're about to jump in. The jacuzzi looks kind of full. <laughs> but should we try the swimming pool here maybe? Yeah, I'm scared it's gonna be cold. It might be cold. Yeah. I don't think you have to be scared. Whoa. 
left the pool and came back to the hotel to take a shower. The pool was nice though. Come! We just showered and this is the end of the video now. Uh, we might be traveling along the west coast of Sweden, maybe. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. But uh, tomorrow we have some more sightseeing to do here. But this is the end of this video. So thanks for watching this video and thumbs up for the video. Also, if you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe to the channel.